Hello everyone. Welcome to Ace Engineering Academy, a leading engineering institute for GATE, ESC and PSU preparations. This video is all about a new job opportunity for you all by ISRO, that is Indian Space Research Organization. They are inviting the application forms for total 62 vacancies. This recruitment is happening to the post of scientists or engineers. Candidate will be appointed at Group A post under pay matrix pay level 11 and 10. Now let's have a look at essential educational qualification requirements for this recruitment. Candidate who apply to post of scientist or engineers at level 11, then they need to have PhD degree in the concerned discipline in which they are applying from a well recognized university or institute on regular basis. And candidate who wish to apply to the post of scientist or engineers at pay level 10, then they need to have post graduation or graduation degree in engineering from a well recognized university or institute on regular basis. The degree should be in the same discipline in which they are applied. Candidate educational qualification will be calculated as on 21st July 2023. Now let's have a look at age limit requirements for this recruitment. Candidate applying at level 11, then their upper age limit is 35 years. Candidate applying at level 10 with post graduation degree, their upper age limit is 30 years. And candidate applying at pay level 10 with graduation degree, then their upper age limit is 28 years. And age relaxations to reserve category will be provided as per the norms. Now we'll have a look at selection process of this recruitment. Candidate at level 11 will be selected based on personal interview and candidate at level 10 will be selected based on written examination followed by performance in personal interview. Now let's come to written examination pattern. Written exam for post graduation and graduation candidate is different. For postgraduate candidate, examination pattern will be as shown above. That is, questions will be asked from part A, part B and part C. Part A and part B is objective type and part C is descriptive type. In part A, questions will be from concerned discipline knowledge. There will be 60 multiple choice questions. Time duration to attempt part A is 75 minutes. There is also the negative marking of one third marks in part A. Now let's come to part B. In part B, questions will be from reasoning. In this, total time duration to attempt the exam will be 30 minutes. There will be total 15 multiple choice questions of 20 marks. There is no negative marking in part B. Now let's come to part C. In part C, there will be 20 marks questions. Time duration to attempt part C is 30 minutes. Now let's discuss examination pattern based on graduation degree. In this, there will be two parts. Part A and Part B. Part A is Concerned Discipline Knowledge Test and Part B is Reasoning Ability Test. Type of questions will be multiple choice. In Part A, there will be 80 questions and time duration to attempt exam will be 90 minutes. In Part B, there will be 15 questions of 20 marks and time duration to attempt Part B is 30 minutes. In Part A, there is negative marking of one third marks and in Part B, there is no negative marking. Candidate also need to secure minimum qualifying percentage marks in written examination and personal interview. For undeserved category, candidate need to secure 50% marks in written exam, 50 marks out of 100 in personal interview and all over that is written exam plus personal interview 60% marks. Now let's come to reserve category. Reserve category candidate need to secure 40% marks in written exam, 40 marks out of 100 in personal interview and all over 50% marks, that is written exam plus personal interview. Exam will be conducted at above mentioned locations. Now let's have a look at remuneration and pay scale part. Candidate will be appointed as per pay level 11 and pay level 10 as shown above. Now we'll have a look at mode of application. And the mode of application for this recruitment is online. Candidate need to visit official website and fill an online application form. Application window is open till 21st July 2023. Candidate also need to pay non-refundable application fees. For unreserved category, it is rupees 750 and for reserve category, there is no application fees. That's all about important highlights given in this recruitment notification. If you want to view detailed advertisement, the link is available in the description box. 
If you like this video, do hit the like button and for regular update on latest job notifications and other informative videos like this, do not forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep watching, keep smiling.